Most of our work is funded by the Corps of Engineers and it looks at the effects of um, hydropower on salmon populations and we're primarily trying to figure out how to uh, more safely pass fish downstream um, as juveniles pass the dams and we've, we've done that in a number of ways. We've uh, developed small sensors that we can put inside the fish. We've, we've developed sensors that we can put through the turbines to measure, measure the physical forces. We've developed uh, facilities that can simulate the pressure changes that fish go through. So basically what happens to fish when they go through a hydro turbine, the pressure decreases. So you have to have higher pressure upstream of the turbine to push the blade and make it spin. But when the fish go through that, they're exposed to low pressures on the back side of the blade. And that expands the swim bladder in the fish, which helps them regulate buoyancy. Uh, it's kind of like a balloon, and if you expand that, then it can crush the internal yeah, organs and it can rupture and shoot gas throughout the body cavity, and that causes a lot of damage. So what we do is we figure out how much pressure can you expose fish to without reaching a threshold where you cause damage. And all of that is designed mainly to, to uh, allow the managers of the hydro system to more efficiently and more uh, safely operate their facilities.